So I want to give you an update today on everything that's going on in the world of cryptocurrency, basically. Um, so today, sorry, today um, this has showed up crypto miner genesis able to cease and desist order, and they kind of go through here. So obviously, as I said previously, this is a copy of the actual report. This was never false, as a lot of people were saying that someone was just spreading kind of rumors. This is absolutely true. Um, and again, basically, they're considering mining contracts securities. And, you know, in my opinion, in my, I guess you could say dumb opinion, because I'm not a financial expert of any means, I think that it is so lame. I can't rent, I can't rent hardware from someone who buys it. So it's not illegal for me to buy hardware and pay a price for it, say I pay $1,000 for a, a Bitcoin miner, and I run it from my home, and I pay for the electricity and all that, and I earn profits in the form of Bitcoin, that's not a problem. But if you as my neighbor buy the miner, and we go in together, and I pay 500 bucks, and you agree to give me half the profits, now technically that's selling a security at that point, um, because it's, it's selling a quote-unquote contract. Now mind you, the government hasn't made up their mind in certain circumstances, they'll say that cryptocurrency is a security or, I mean, it's a it's property. And other instances, they'll say it's actually a financial instrument. But that will continue to remain, you know, that's still going to be up for debate. And it government regulations is the greatest threat to this space. Make no question about it. And this is an ex excellent example of this. While with Genesis Mining, if you come to their Twitter account, they've been responding Genesis Mining, I mean, I guess technically anyone could be running a scam. I mean, that's true. But this is a, a picture right here in the background of one of their mining operations. They, they have social media. They're always very active on their social media. They have a Japanese Genesis Mining. Um, this is their, their verified account here. They, they have, they're active on their Facebook. They respond in real time. This is, so these are their tweets. You can see here. This is a pinned tweet. Seven hours ago, they got this tweet. Um, 24 hours ago, 24 hours ago, they're always updating. Hash power sold out. So they're they're always tweeting, retweeting. This is an active, active Twitter account. They reply to people who tweet them, and right now you can see a lot of the replies are about the South Carolina thing, and, and they've got the same kind of a response. We're monitoring the situation. We're currently reviewing the case with our U.S. legal team. We have no further update at this time, but we'll provide an update immediately once we do. I saw a video this morning, and uh, Sonny Decre, I think is, uh, is who it was, seems to be optimistic that somehow they're going to, you know, their legal team is, is going to combat the, the U.S., and I've heard other people say this. They need to get their legal team on it. Listen, their legal team cannot combat this. They're not going to combat this. I mean, this is the space that we're in. There's, I'm just, the powers that be, the individuals who make the laws, the people who lobby for the laws, who lobby politicians, the vast majority of them are not pro-cryptocurrency at all. Uh, this doesn't end well. I mean, I, I'm hoping the worst thing that happens is they just pull out of South Carolina um, we'll see how they respond ultimately. But as far as me thinking that somehow their attorneys are going to get involved and they're going to somehow knock this case down and they're going to you know, win some sort of a, a legal decision, that's just not going to happen. I mean, it's just not going to happen. Um, and, and I'm aware of that. And I'm still optimistic long term on this space. You need to keep that in mind. But I do believe in the short term, cryptocurrency faces major headwinds. Um, the... The one disappointing thing I see, I want to talk about this for a moment, and I could make another video on this, but I'm going to just say, that. by the way, join, hit me up on Twitter. It's, um, you know, this is my Crypto Wealth over here on Twitter. Crypto Wealth YT is for YouTube. Um, come join me on Twitter if you haven't already. But I want to talk about this. Box Mining has been one of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite YouTubers. No question. This guy, from the very beginning, he's kind of inspired me to start a YouTube channel, watching his channels. Um, one of my favorites. However, um, if you come to, I can't see it right now, I'll sort by most popular. His most popular channels, uh, Sunday, I got this from Sunny Decret earlier, and this is actually, this was upsetting. 
his most popular channel was a channel of him actually going to Genesis Mining himself. This, uh, Box Mining or Michaels, his name's got a very popular channel. I was actually one of his first subscribers. I was uh, like subscriber 900 and something, and now he's got 188,000 subscribers. I've watched his channel blow up, and I think it's really horrible um, that, and I don't understand why he's basically just deleted his info on Genesis Mining. I don't understand that at all. This guy puts up good content, and I've oftentimes considered doing like a top five or top ten cryptocurrency YouTubers, and he would, out question, have made the list. Um, this bothers me, concerns me quite a bit. Uh, he loses a little bit of credibility because I don't understand what his mentality is, although I haven't, I don't understand what his mentality is or why he's, I need to watch his last couple of videos to see if he addresses it, but I can't figure out why in the world, he's got one somewhere down here, handling fear, uncertainty, and doubt with style. I don't know, maybe he talks about it there. We'll see, but he looks like he's talking about, so he's not even talking about the season of this. He's not even talking about Genesis Mining. Um, and I I don't know what that's all about. So it's unfortunate to see this happening in this space. I think that we need to be, I mean, the, whoever the good guys are, and, and unless Genesis Mining proves to be a scam, I think we need to be, as a community, rallying behind them, at least supporting them with our voice, if nothing else. I don't think this does any good. I think it's a little bit cowardice, to be honest with you. Um, and it's disappointing from someone who is really one of my personal heroes in this space as far when it comes to YouTubers on cryptocurrency. Uh, this is unfortunate, Michael, uh, that you took this route. I don't know that you'll ever see this video. Um, I've had great respect for you, but I would be lying if I didn't say this didn't hurt it just a little bit. I mean, he used to promote Genesis Mining. I mean, I think I might have signed up for Genesis Mining through him. I mean, he used to promote it all the time on his channel. Um, but, yeah. So that's where we're at, and I'll continue to keep you posted. Just subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, let me know your thoughts. Um, if you follow Box Mining and you're shocked that he deleted his Genesis Mining information, please let me know what your thoughts are on that. I mean, this is something that you think should, I should even be worried about. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.